Good. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Hi, my name's Taylor, and welcome to the Otay Ranch Academy for the Arts. This is my friend Gigi. Hi, I'm Gigi. Today, we will be exploring the school and its excellent staff and students. Let's go take a look. And I am the STEM A R T I School B R I E. I love the A R T S M A S C A T M I. The school is so different from um, every you know public school or just you know charter school, anything because it's arts integrated. And I think that's something that you don't find every day. My name is Philip Parks, and I'm the principal here at the Otay Ranch Academy for the Arts. We're a project-based, personalized learning, arts integration school. What does all that mean? It means that we integrate the arts into all of our core subjects. So through math and science and social studies and ELA, we uh, try to find some form of the arts, whether that's movement or music or visual art or theater, to deliver that content. Hi, my name is Mr. Cooper. I teach 7th and 8th grade history at Otay Ranch Academy of the Arts, and we're the best school in the world. I want to create an environment where students feel free to learn in a style that suits them, because sometimes they want to learn in a group and they want to be able to collaborate and discuss with their friends. Sometimes they need to be by themselves so they can focus and they'll even be wearing like headphones often and listening to music as long as they're on topic. And other times like the circle is very powerful for building a community and we, we use that some, it's like we're all equals. Like I'll even sit in the circle myself and um, that's really important. I think that it's important to make students comfortable in their environment and in order to do that we need to think about moving away from a traditional classroom and not having desks in straight rows. We try to get kids comfortable and we lower their effective filter by making them feel happy and comfortable in their setting and classroom which helps produce better results for students. I'm Alyssa Warren. I'm the assistant principal at Otay Ranch Academy for the Arts. Springs as a whole is unique because we're very focused on individualized learning. Each teacher meets with students and their parents to form an individualized learning plan to make sure that we're bringing in students' learning styles and their interests and their background into their education. Uh, what makes Otay Ranch a little different than the other schools that Springs has is that we're very focused on the arts. Being able to integrate the arts into each content area helps students to not only see the ties between all of the different contents, but to see the ties, the things that they're learning have to the real world going on outside of the world and be more creative in the learning process. We got together as a team and decided that we were going to create what we call Studio Days, and they're cross-curricular projects. So they're elaborate, they involve about four hours worth of work, the parent is working alongside the student. As the students get older, those home study days really become independent study days because the student really takes charge of that project and they should be working independently. But at the lower levels, it really is a guided project and the instructions are pretty clear for the parent to jump in there, so. So those projects have become pretty integral to our process here. Um, Mondays, when students are working at home, they're, as I said before, working on those cross-curricular projects and then they bring them in and they do a presentation in the classroom. Mondays are home study days for students, but that doesn't mean that they're home study days for the teachers. The teachers come to school on Mondays and those are days for collaboration and for trainings, but we also take Mondays as days to enrich the teachers. Throughout our school, our math and science program is called TPS, and it is uh, the only STEAM-based California-approved math science curriculum in the state of California. The younger kids love these projects, so we train our teachers the same way we teach our students. So the teachers are doing the project before the students are doing the project, so they actually get to see what the pitfalls are along the way, and they're prepared for that. So um, so what do you find that this school is very, like different than all the rest of the schools out there? Well, I feel like because we're project-based and because we're, we integrate the arts so much, I really feel like the students have a lot of fun and they're always engaged in what they're doing, and they really like to see 
discover learning and mm. learn through having fun. Kids are creative beings just in general. You know, they, they don't want to be sitting at a table and just going through the motions, writing sentences over and over and over, or reading the same passage over and over and over. And if I can put some real world exposure into the classroom, it just, they totally love it. I believe that our students are happy to be here at school. And I mean happy to be here at school. I get parents that come up to me all the time and say, I have struggled with my student for years to get them out of bed and get them to school every day. Now, I can't get my kid to stay home when they're sick. I look forward to it every morning because when I wake up, I rush my mom to get out of the door so I could head to school. One of the things that we love about the setting of Otay Ranch Academy is the fact that it is a small school and I think what, what I mean by that is um, the administration knows each and every one of the kids. The teachers know all the kids by name. Uh, her teachers know how to really personalize her uh, learning that most benefits her and the teachers are accessible. I think that a mentor is someone who is not necessarily that all-being, all-knowing teacher that stands in front of the room to deliver content for an hour and then test a student about that. They're really down there on the floor crawling around with the students to discover in our science program. They're doing experiments right alongside the student. They're um, asking that student inquiry questions that cause them to think rather than them just give them the answer to the questions. I think that what makes the fact that we have a small student population so special is that a student here is not just a name on a piece of paper or a number in the group. Each student is known by every teacher on campus. A first grade student is recognized by the seventh grade teacher and is greeted at the door by the principal or by a fifth grade teacher and are not only just recognizing the students in the hallway, but they know the student on a more personal, intimate level and they're able to kind of help them and support them in other ways. So in your opinion, how is this school different from other schools? This school forces me to think outside the box. I feel like in other schools I've been told I can't do this, I can't do that, and I felt very limited and confined. Uh, here, I'm forced to do the opposite, where they're telling me, what more can you do? How can you add on to the project? How can you make it more real world accessible? And I think I enjoy that encouragement and that challenge is such a positive thing that we have here. How do you feel being the new student? Is everyone very welcoming? Yeah, there's a lot of kids here who I feel comfortable around, like I can actually be myself and a lot of the teachers are nice and they really interact with the students. It's kind of like they're a teacher slash best friend. What sets us apart is a warm, welcoming atmosphere. I believe that our teachers walk into these classrooms that are brick walls and all exactly the same and they create whole new worlds in their classroom. There's little environments everywhere you walk through this school that illustrate the love and care that that teacher care, uh, has for their classroom, but it also shows how much respect and care those students have for that environment and for what they're learning here. So being that I just moved here from New Jersey, which is all the way across the country, um, it's definitely been a really new and really like a great experience though for me too. In New Jersey and what I was used to, it was just so, it's one way to learn it and it's if you don't get it this way, you're not going to get it at all. And I had, I never realized it, but when I got here, I had such certain needs that when I was taught something, I needed to be taught this certain way. Uh, in my previous schools, I was, you know, getting an average of like C's and B's, you know, which I knew I could do better. But it was just like the way that I was being taught. In my grades, I've like excelled, you know. I have straight A's in all of my classes and like that's more than I could ever ask for. I love our students. I love our teachers. I love our staff. I love our parents. This school is uh, the culmination of a dream for me that I've worked on this, on getting this school created for a whole lot of years. And so a lot of my love has gone into this school. And I believe that every day, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to be here and 
be with students who want to be here at school, teachers who want to be here, that, you know, this isn't just a job for them because there's easier jobs out there to be had. But this school is engaging and it's fun and it's welcoming and there's a caring, loving staff that really cares about the potential in every single child.